In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Teslong TD500 articulating board scope. This was sent to me to make this video with. It sells for $280, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy it at. Yeah, and here's all the information on this borescope. Yeah, and it comes in this case. And it comes with the owner's manual. It even comes with some stuff to wipe the screen off with. And this comes with a USB to USB-C uh, cable to charge it with. I already charged the batteries in this before I started to make this video. And here's the camera. In inches, this is about quarter inch in diameter. A lot of these are 8 millimeter, which is 5 sixteenths. And this is an articulating one, and what that means is when you move this thing here, it, it moves the camera. And it'll go all the way to 180. Yeah, see when you move this control here, it moves the camera around. So when you put this into a cylinder, you can look back at the valves real easy. And also if you pressurize the cooling system and you're looking for one that uh, has a potentially a, a bad head gasket or a cracked head, you can look at it real close and see if there's anything leaking. Yeah, the picture quality with this is very good. I have uh, two older bore scopes that are not articulating, and the picture quality on those were not very good. This one's absolutely amazing. And you can also zoom in. And you can turn the picture any different direction you want. And you could also take a picture to, to give to a customer if you got like a bad valve or something you're looking at. And that's as simple as that. The one thing you never want to do with these is stick it into a hot a cylinder that's not completely cold. And the LEDs on this camera are real bright. And you got like three to three or four different settings here. Yeah, you just want to make sure the engine's completely cold when you use this. Or you'll damage the camera. This cheap Cherokee, the dealership told the customer it has a blown head gasket. The customer says it runs good. I also asked the customer if when you go up a hill, does the temperature gauge go up a little bit? And he says no. That's an indication of a head gasket leaking. I checked the codes. There's no codes. What I was looking for was a misfire code. And if you look at this thing, and he says that they put a camera in the cylinders, the coils are all dusty and there's not even any fingerprints on anything. So I highly doubt they took anything apart. And I also asked the customer if it's going through coolant and he says no. The only thing I can see is the water pump leaks a little bit. So what I'm going to do is pull the coils out and pull the upper part of the intake manifold off and I'm going to pressurize the cooling system and look into all the cylinders and see if anything's leaking. It has 122,000 miles on it, so it's due for spark plugs anyways. And if everything checks out, I'll replace the spark plugs and the water pump. 
And I think that's about all that probably needs to be done to this. Yeah, I got the uh, intake manifold off, and as you can see, this vehicle doesn't look like it's ever been apart before. Yeah, and here's that uh, leaking water pump. And here's the spark plugs out of it. All of them look normal. Nothing, nothing looks out of the ordinary here. So next we're going to pressurize it and leave it pressurized for a while, the cooling system. Yeah, I have this pressurized to 15 pounds, then we're going to let it sit for a while, then I'll look into the cylinders and see if I see anything leaking. Hey, now it's been sitting for about uh, 45 minutes pressurized, we're still at 15 pounds of pressure. So now I'm going to look into each cylinder with a, the camera. Another thing you want to look for is a cylinder that has no carbon in it. Because when uh, coolant leaks into the cylinder, it causes steam and the carbon breaks loose. So that's another indication of a problem if you see that. Yeah, and see, look how good this camera is. I mean, you can even see the hone marks in the cylinder and everything else. Yeah, and see, this cylinder looks good. I'm not going to show every single one of them in this video, but if I see a problem, I'll show it. Yeah, and look how clear this picture is of the valves. Yeah, and here it is, it's leaking. You can just barely see that. Yeah, you see how by using this camera you can verify the problem and then you're not going to take the engine apart for no reason. So this is actually a great tool to have.